Hey, what's up guys? My name is Acherno and let's talk about mobs. So last episode, we talked about entities and how they sort of interact with our game and what they are basically. And today we're actually going to take a look at mobs. So what are mobs? Mobs are basically like, well, mobs, like the, the word mobs, like mob literally means like a group of something. Um, but, you know, in, in games, I guess, uh, what a mob is, it's basically like a, like a player or... It's essentially, it's like a, a creature that moves, um, or a creature even, you could just call it like that. Um, if you guys play Minecraft, for example, that's probably a, a game where um, they've actually, you know, been called mobs, like, the whole time, not only in development, but actually in the actual game. Um, but yeah, so yeah, mob, think of a mob as like, I don't know, anything from like a cat to like a player. That's a mob. Um, so... Basically, today we're just going to take a look at what they are and really the differences between an entity and a mob. So, in other words, you know, a mob is still going to be an entity, obviously, because an entity is pretty much any object on our actual screen, except for, like, the map, so, like, tiles. Um, so, yeah, a mob is still an entity, but, you know, we're going to talk about really um, what what like what other features a mob brings to the table. So, in other words, the additional um the additional characteristics of a mob so first of all over here at um in, the, in our package explorer or sorry our navigator on our entity folder we're just going to right click and create a new class and we're actually going to put it into its own uh package called mob and it's literally going to be mob now it's just going to be our, our mob class so you can see now we've got a nice hierarchy going on here in the navigator and over here in our mob class first thing we need to do is make sure that it actually extends entity all right, because it is an entity, and we sort of wanted to, um, you know, to inherit all of these, all of these variables that we've um, created. Um, we'll also make it abstract, and that's about it. So again, abstract means it can't be, you know, instantiated because we don't need it to be instantiated because in no case will we actually be creating a new mob class because, um, again, we're using mob as a template for all of our actual mobs that we create. So, um, how does a mob, you know, differ from an entity? Now, I was talking about this yesterday, and not yesterday, the day before. I was talking about this the day before, and um, and I mentioned that entities don't necessarily have sprites. Now, mobs do have sprites, all right? So, the first thing we need to do, basically, is say that, you know, it's got a sprite object. We need to have a, we need, we need to have a sprite object. And I'll just make it protected for now. Again, um, with visibilities, you know, you can change them, obviously. So if I change this down the line, you know, just don't worry about it. But it's not that important. If I make everything public, the game will still run exactly the same as it would. It's just for, pro it's good programming practice to actually restrict some variables because that sort of reduces the margin for error if you accidentally access the wrong variable. Or in other words, you know, we should be, we like, in other words, um, in this case, it'll help us out having it protected because um, basically that, that tells us that, that this sprite variable can only be used, you know, within the mob um, class and all of its, um, all of its subclasses. So it can't be used outside of the mob class, basically. It can't be used outside of the mob, uh, out of the mobs, um, out, of, out of mobs, okay? So only mobs can actually access the sprite, all the different mobs that we create in the future. Because only, only subclasses can actually access this sprite variable. So the other thing is, um, mobs also tend to have a direction. So protected int uh, dir stands for direction. We'll probably uh, have it as zero for now. Um, zero is usually north. You know, one is east, two is south, and three is west. That's sort of the way that it usually works. Um, or at least that's how I've always been doing it. Um, the other things, I'm not going to get too complicated into here right now, but um, the other thing is probably protected boolean um, walking or moving. Um, and also that equals false. And the reason is that mobs usually have an animation when they're moving. Um, so, you know, we want to be able to manage that here as well. Now, as for methods, um, there is going to be a move method. I, I will literally just create that right now to public uh, void move. In fact, no, no, I might actually keep it as public, not protected. Um, to explain why and the reason. Uh, when we actually get to it. 
Um, I'm not actually going to put in any parameters into it just yet. I will modify that move method in the future, but I'm just, you know, sort of doing an outline for you guys. Uh, the other thing is public void update, obviously, because mobs need to be able to be updated. So in other words, their location, their position, all that stuff needs to get updated. Um, and, you know, we have other things like collision, which um, we could deal, we're not going to deal with right now. Um, but so I'll just simply put as as private boolean collision. So in other words, if there's a collision, it'll return true. If there's no collision, it'll return false. And obviously, you know, for now, just to get rid of this error, we'll just return false. But yeah, that's basically the way that a mob works. Now, one thing I haven't factored into here that probably will be in the final game. Um, well, no, that's, there's obviously a lot of things, but I mean, out of the technical aspects, probably lighting. We're not actually managing lighting in here at all, but, you know, we'll probably move on to that when um, when the time comes. So, yeah, that is basic overview of the mob class. It's pretty much all we need to get a mob working. Again, this move method will actually, we'll actually have to fill it in with something. Update method will stay um, pretty much empty as it is now. Um, and all these variables will give us the everything we need to know for our mob. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, guys, please hit the like button and I will see you guys next episode. So yeah, later, guys. Mm -hmm.